Hey, what up? It is your girl MD, and I'm really excited about today's video because I made sea moss gel to put in your hair, and I'm pretty impressed with the results. So let me not waste any more time and get right into the video. We talked about sea moss a few weeks ago and its incredible benefits when it comes to your health and your hair growth. If you haven't seen my first sea moss video, I will leave it down below because it definitely piggybacks off of this video. So I soaked my sea moss overnight. I did the exact same process that I did in my original video except for I added one extra step. P.S. We're still making CMOSH gel that you eat and put in your food but we're just going to switch up a few things and turn it into hair gel. So instead of going from soaking the sea moss and putting it directly in the blender, I'm going to boil it in water for literally less than three minutes. I didn't really measure the amount of water, I just filled up my pot, put my sea moss in, and boiled it for a few minutes. I kept that water that I boiled the sea moss in and stored it in my refrigerator, but we'll talk about that in the next video. Someone suggested boiling the sea moss for a few minutes to remove the sea smell. Since I was putting the sea moss in my hair, I didn't want my hair to smell like the ocean, but really Really, I think this was a much needed step in general. It very quickly starts to melt down and look like this. It instantly started to turn gel-like. I then transferred my sea moss into my blender and added a half a cup of water. I blend it for about one minute and then I'm going to add another half a cup of water and continue to blend it for another minute or two. To be honest, it really didn't need to be blended, but I just wanted to make sure that everything was nice and smooth and chopped up. So now I'm going to take my sea moss and put it into a mason jar and pop it into the refrigerator. The original way takes way longer for the sea moss to get to this texture. I let mine sit overnight, but I'm sure after a few hours your gel should be nice and solidified. My old way of doing this, my gel never turned out looking like this and more so looked like a jelly or a jam like texture. I like this version way better. So now I'm going to show you guys how I made the hair gel. So for this recipe, you're going to need sea moss, coconut oil, avocado oil, and grapeseed oil. You're going to need a half a cup of water and add it to your pot. You're just going to heat it up and then you're going to add three teaspoons of sea moss gel. You just want to melt it. You don't want to boil it or anything like that. Once that is melted down, now I'm going to take a container, you can take an old jar if you have one, and then you're going to place your strainer on the top of your jar and pour your melted sea moss in. I did this just in case there were any extra chunks that didn't get blended, but as you see, I did not run into that problem, but you might, so definitely make sure you use a strainer just because you don't wanna end up with any chunks in your hair when you're applying your gel. Here is what we have. Now we're going to add our oils. I ended up using two teaspoons of each. So grapeseed oil, avocado oil, and coconut oil. I will leave the video below where I based my recipe off of. If you wanna add essential oils, if you have those on hand, that works well too. She actually added a bunch of essential oils to hers, but I always try to just use what I already have in my house and Maybe I will add some in the future, but like I said, I don't have any essential oils on me, so this is what we're gonna put in ours. So after all of our oils are added, I'm going to whisk everything together and pop it in the refrigerator to let it solidify. So I let mine sit for a few and these are our final results. Initially, I thought I messed it up and I thought it was just like a solid block of oil, but when you break through the thin layer, you're in for a special surprise. I still wasn't convinced that this was going to be anything impressive when I put it in my hair, but I put it in my hair, I tied it down, and I was blown away. I have nothing else in my hair, didn't even put water in it, I just brushed it, and these are the results. It has a really good slip, amazing hold. I slept in it like this, went to the gym the next morning, and my hair still didn't move. I'm excited to try other styles and see how it holds up. I completely and totally recommend you trying this. Clearly it's all natural, and I like that I'm able to know exactly what I'm putting in my hair. Obviously it has oil in it, but it also has a very sticky, like gel-like texture, just like any other gel that you would put in your hair. And I did like that I was putting extra oils in my hair because I felt like my hair was getting moisturized in the process. But just like any other gel, it was giving me the same vibe. 
I've never actually made my own hair gel so I'm excited to continue to use this and I hope you guys do try it out and if you do let me know if you have ever made your own gel or any hair products let me know down below because I'd love to try out your recipe and see how they work on me but yeah let me know your thoughts let me know what you think about this like always I love you I appreciate you and I will see you guys in my next video bye